Hi guys, it's Wombat, and today we're going to talk about Rigids, aka BDFs, aka Tandem Trucks. Well, I'm not going to use those words though, because the Americans wouldn't understand what the hell I'm talking about if I used those words. Instead, I'm going to say it in American English. Today we're going to talk about truck and trailer mods, because that is what this is called in the United States of America. Truck and trailer. Simple as that, and yet, to us Europeans, very, very confusing, because isn't everything trucks and trailers? Well, not in the United States, but it's a long story, never mind, just accept the fact that this is a truck and trailer combo. And today we're going to talk about these, and I'm going to, sh I'm going to show you a few examples of truck and trailer mods that you can use on ATS-138. Now, finding these mods aren't easy. There aren't very many to begin with. I found eight mods, uh, of which at least three were stolen mods, which means that someone took someone else's truck and added some stuff to it, another chassis for instance, a flatbed chassis, and then redistributed the truck as his own. That is basically stealing, so I'm not going to use any of those. I also found a few mods that are very good truck and trailer mods, but they are paid like these Peterbilt 281-351 by MTG. It's going to set you back about $20-25 but I'm not going to talk about paid mods today. I wanted to find a few free mods instead. And that turned out to be very, very difficult. And I would say it would have been impossible if it hadn't been for this guy, Diesel. Because Diesel have made a couple of add-on mods for a couple of very, very nice free trucks. One of them just happens to be my favorite American cab over mod the K100E. So I'm going to show you that and I'm also going to show you his HFG Project 3XX add-on as well. And I wish it was as easy as just saying add these mods in this order and you're good to go. Unfortunately it's going to be a little more tricky than that but let's get started. Now I'm going to start slowly. You need to download the Project 3XX from the Steam community site. That's the first thing you need to do. And that is very easy. Unfortunately, the 3XX truck, or trucks rather, doesn't have any engine sound because this truck is in need of an update. So until it has been updated, you're gonna need to add a truck engine mod as well and this Detroit diesel actually works with 3xx so I'm using this one on top of the truck to just make sure that the truck actually have sound and work as a truck. Then there's the uh, heavy truck and trailer add-on mod for HFG Project 3XX as well. And, well, you just download it. But there's more to it if you actually want to use the trailers, because this mod too needs an update for 138. So we're going to have to modify it a little bit. I have associated SCS files with 7-zip and I assume you know how to associate an application with a certain types of files. This is not a course in how to use Microsoft Windows. So I'm just going to double click the file which allows me to open the mod in 7-zip. Once here you have the dev folder. You need to double click that and then you need to go to vehicle, trailer owned, SCS flatbed, chassis, and here you have several different types of chassis. Now some of these we need to modify a little bit and the thing we need to do is simply to remove the shadows from these 
uh, trailers because if we don't, well, the game is going to crash when you try to create a trailer for your truck. So we have this one here, the ch28hey.sii file. And this part here, these five lines or six lines if you count the one, uh, the blank one there, needs to be removed. So I'm just going to select them, press delete on my keyboard, and then close the file. Now I'm prompted to save the changes and then I'm prompted to update the archive. And now I've made my first change. Unfortunately, this isn't the last change we're gonna have to do. We have this CH30 quad file, and we're gonna do the exact same thing here. And then we have the Dolly Hay file, Remove those five or six lines. Save the file, update the archive. We also have the quad dolly. Same thing with the quad dolly file. We have the tank dolly. And last but not least, we have the tank dolly underscore s as well. Remove the five or six lines there. Save and update and we're done. Now you can close the SCS file or 7-zip archive. And now you can copy the file into your mod folder and actually select trailers. This is also the load order that I'm using for the files. I have the Project 3XX file at the bottom, then I have the Heavy Truck and Trailer add-on, and then on top I have the Detroit Diesel mod. And so here we are in-game and it's time to configure the truck. And the interesting parts take place in the chassis configuration. If we look at the chassis, we have a 8x4 100 gallon tanker, short logger, and a flatbed 100 gallon. Then we also have three 200 gallon versions of these trucks, tanker, logger, and a flatbed. And finally, we have a dump truck here, only available in a 100 gallon version. And let's take a quick look at the trailers as well. We have a short tanker, a log trailer, flatbed, quad tanker, and quad flatbed to choose from. I'm just going to go with the uh, quad tanker in this case and configure it a little bit. Uh, let's see, there we have the tanker dolly. And uh, let's go with that one there. There we have it. And now you can see the other types of tankers as well. We have several different, we also have a propane tanker there, but I'm going to go with this one. And I think I'm going to go with doubles in this case, because that will effectively make my truck a triple if I use a tanker truck. I should also mention that not all of these different types of trailers are available as doubles or quad as this is called. Uh, if you take the um, log for instance instead, we only have this one available. There is no double version of that available. So there's just that single trailer available. So in some cases you have single trailers, in other cases you are able to configure double trailers. It's just how it is. And here is the end result and of course I'm also using the Detroit diesel engine that, uh, or one of the Detroit diesel engines 
that are compatible with the engine sound mod that I added. Now admittedly it's pretty hard to get this one to work. Fortunately though the K100 is a lot easier to work with. You need to download the Kenworth K100 either directly from uh, the SES forum or from, which I prefer, the um, Steam community instead. And of course you need to download the flatbed truck and trailer add-on mod for the K100E. Yes, this file too needs to be modified a little bit, but it's a little less modification that we need to do on this one. Again, double click the, in this case, K100E truck and trailer version 140.SES file, or 140.SES file. Go to def vehicle trailer owned SES flatbed chassis and here you only have two chassis and yes we're gonna have to remove the same five or again six lines in the CH28H uh, file close the file save it update the archive and then the dolly hay file same thing there remove these six lines close and save update the archive and there you have it now in this case since we actually have a proper working truck it is just the canworth truck here and the add-on above it and that's it now before we start looking at the chassis I just want to say that you need to use the standard cabin. You won't find any of the chassis if you use any of these three. As you can see you just have the regular five chassis now. But if you go to standard instead you'll find a flatbed. And unfortunately the flatbed is the only chassis you'll find. This one doesn't have a tanker or um, dump truck mod to it it's just this flatbed and the fact that we only have a flatbed truck is then also reflected in the number of trailers we only have one the flatbed this one here now both this truck and the 3xx truck that I showed you earlier only have visible cargo on the truck itself. None of them are available as boxed trucks, unfortunately perhaps, but that's just how it is with them. The problem with that is that SES doesn't allow you to actually put cargo on the truck itself so this means that when you configure your trucks you'll have to also add fictional cargo to the flatbed or the bed of the uh, truck before you complete your configuration of the truck now the trailer obviously then uses actual cargo but the truck doesn't the truck is just configured like this and to answer the other question you probably have then is why don't I show you any boxed trucks? And the answer is, sadly enough, I haven't found any. We only have the flatbeds, the dump truck and tanker truck etc. The things I've already shown you, no boxed truck uh, are available at the moment. Yes, in the past there have been boxed trucks for ATS but on 138, 137, not even on 136 I've been able to find any of those. So this is what we have but it's still a lot better than nothing and if you're wondering where the hell I'm hauling, I'm hauling on air. <laughs> air is the Alaska Ice Road map that came out just as this is recorded today. So obviously I had to try it out. It is a wonderful add-on map for ATS-138. And yes, it do work on 
my map combos, but no, it doesn't work with my map combos and Canna Dream, at least not yet. Uh, so you have to remove Canna Dream if you want to use the Alaska Ice Road map. It's very, very small at the moment, but by God, everything has been filmed on the Alaska ice road map today and it is absolutely gorgeous and very very interesting to haul on so i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already subscribe as well and till next time take care everyone bye bye